There's very little room left to deny the fact that ancient cultures throughout the world were all connected in the ancient past. We see depictions of flying machines in Mexico that are very similar to the ones of the Via Mana we see in India, for example. And there is, of course, also the handbag of the gods. The handbags are literally depicted by every culture on every part of the earth. But how can this be? This obviously points to the fact that the world was once connected in ancient times, pretty much like it is today. And you never know, perhaps in a few thousand years, people will look back at this day and age and make similar comparisons regarding mobile phones or something like that. Seems plausible, does it not? But are we destined to forget the day and now as being unimportant at some point in the future to the very point we actually forget the timeline of our civilization all over again, just like we have done for thousands of years? Wait till you hear this. How is it possible the ancient Olmecs, Aztecs, Egyptians, and cultures of those in New Zealand shared depictions of their gods, which are almost identical? Is this just random cultural spread? Or is it possible there is more to it than we are willing to accept? The Leventa Steel 19 offers a curious representation of the feathered serpent, a humanoid figure sitting in some kind of vehicle or chair as if manipulating some sort of device. At first, this may not sound extraordinary or weird. However, it becomes strange when you find nearly identical representations of gods halfway around the world. According to the Mori legend, the god Parengahoa flew on his magical bird from his legendary dwelling Hawaii to New Zealand. Curiously, according to legend, this ancient god came from heaven riding a silver bird. These two cases are reminiscent of the Mayan lord Pakal's sarcophagus. In this depiction, Pakal appears to be operating a machine with a flame coming out of the bottom of it. It is so named Lord Pakal's spaceship because of these features. How is it possible that the ancient Egyptians and ancient pre-Incan cultures developed on opposite sides of the globe yet mysteriously share so many similarities? Not only are we referring to architecture and symbolism, we can easily include religion and science into the list of shocking similarities that are not only being ignored by mainstream scholars, they are even being repressed as if a giant cover-up in ancient history is occurring before our very eyes. How can we explain these striking similarities? Well, either ancient civilizations were interconnected and came into contact with each other in the past, or a long lost culture predates all the ancient civilizations on Earth. And it's from this ancient culture that ancient civilizations such as the Aztecs and Egyptians inherited their knowledge. Imagine for a second that this was true, and by the way, it does seem plausible. An ancient forgotten civilization inhabited our planet. Were these beings the Atlanteans that taught all other civilizations similar traits? We can explain the striking similarities of worldwide culture with this theory. We have to start taking into account the possibility that such a mother culture existed in the past and predated all ancestral civilizations. This, however, would mean that history as we know it today is only partial, incomplete, and points to the fact that human beings are, in fact, a species with amnesia. While today's scholars reject the notion that a mother culture existed on Earth in the distant past and reject with even greater notion the idea of Atlantis, there are many indicators that cannot be overlooked while studying ancient civilizations around the globe. Agriculture is known to have started near the Mount Ararat. This is also where the Ark of Noah was said to have come to rest. This is where the survivors of the Great Flood started a post-cataclysmic civilization that would spread out in every direction from this point and place. Could these bags represent seeds that were preserved on board the Ark in some sort of vault? Maybe they were distributed across the world as we repopulated the globe after the Great Flood. So many different cultures built up massive complex pyramid structures in the remote and distant past that were eerily similar to each other as if to follow a direction from some sort of blueprint. Could the handbag also have contained information that allowed civilizations to excel and develop and the depictions are one culture to the next, handing it forward to the next line of people. Just a thought. 
Why is it that ancient civilizations in America, Egypt, and ancient Mesopotamia depicting their deities carrying a mysterious handbag in their hand? Is it possible that all ancient cultures in America, Egypt, Australia, and Mesopotamia were visited by the same gods? Another instance of the ancient handbag can be found in faraway New Zealand. A Mori myth tells of a hero who once ascended to the home of the gods and returned to earth carrying three baskets full of wisdom. Gobekli Tepe is one of the oldest ancient megalithic temples on our planet. There, interactive massive stone pillars arranged in a set of rings stand tall and proud telling the story when different civilizations ruled all over the planet. The massive stones were believed to have been carved some 14,000 years ago, even though recent evidence points towards the fact that it is probably far older. Again, we see the strange bag present here. Nobody really has any idea what these bags are. The oldest known depictions of the bags is found in Northern Australia and is thought to be 15,000 years old. The creation myth story of this ancient art describes the Earth Mother who carried all her babies in her bags. As she traveled far and wide, she scattered her babies, which gave rise to many different cultures and tribes. Even in North America, there are petroglyphs that are roughly the same age as the Australian depictions. Again, we see the ancient handbag apparently being portrayed as carrying the seeds of life. Could the civilizations around the world all be scattered remains of the lost empire before the Great Flood? Each culture appears to be telling the same stories, and all this is fitting in with the time and history of when the Flood took place. What do you guys think of the idea that ancient cultures around the world were the survivors of the Flood, and knowledge was passed down from one civilization who survived on board the Ark with all the equipment to make life flourish again on Earth after the Great Cataclysmic Flood? We told you the truth would seem strange. What are you thinking? Comments below and thank you for watching.